Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. I appreciate you guys for joining back to watch the video. And uh, there are a few more updates in this video. First, let me start with uh, the Nigerian Youth uh, Football Association that I talked about in the last video. Of course, this uh, was recently formed. It was formed last year uh, for the purpose of uh, catching young talents uh, from the grassroots in Nigeria and helping develop, groom and nurture them uh, into uh, superstars, you know, in, in, of the future. So that's basically what this, uh, you know, initiative is all about. And right now they are not directly con uh, connected to NFF. It's just uh, something of a, a social philanthropic outreach you know that's uh, masterminded by david doherty and the you know board of trustees we can see that them here uh very credible people and uh, some of them are the people that you already know the likes of obara uh the former super falcon striker so they're basically uh, interested in getting young talent you know from the grassroots in nigeria and you know helping them through as they develop and uh, hopefully become uh, football players in the future so if you're a parent uh, in the community or you're a youngster who's interested uh, make sure to follow them on their social handles i'll post that on the screen here uh, uh, but you know it you can get them on tiktok uh, instagram uh, facebook anywhere just type at nigerian youth fa that's the handle for all of their social uh, platforms but they are especially very uh, uh, active on TikTok because that's where they go live, you know, often to talk about uh, the opportunities that you stand to gain. Uh, but then let me uh, give you guys the main update for this video. And uh, Victor Boniface is in the updates. And of course, we know that, uh, you know, he's still under the euphoria of uh, that great uh uh, you know, accomplishments with Bayern Leverkusen. They obviously won the league uh, for the first time in the club's history. And of course, he and Nathan Teller uh, obviously celebrated and I'm sure they are still celebrating at the minute. Reports even had it that his girlfriend, uh, who was in Paris, had to fly into uh, Germany to actually celebrate with the 20-year-old uh, Boniface but it's you know well deserved we have to say that he deserves every bit of uh happiness and celebration that he gets you know during this time because we saw the hard work that he puts in uh here and the team uh, but uh again boniface was uh having a moment with the journalist and he uh, uh you know talked about a number of things but he was also uh, very quick to uh, send a shout out to victor osime uh and you know, reveal that Osima, you know, last year that Victor Osima won the league with Napoli, uh, that he and Victor Osima got on a call. And, you know, when he was congratulating Victor Osima, Osima told him that uh, this year is going to be his turn, uh, you know, to celebrate. And, and you know, it came to pass, obviously, this year Boniface uh, wins the league. So he's sending a shout out to Osime for being a prophet there. So it comes to reality that, you know, this year is uh, Victor Boniface's year and he's, you know, obviously relishing the whole uh, celebration, the whole, uh, the success and everything. And that's one good thing about this set of Nigerian Spikers players. They are always in touch with each other, you know, whenever they have anything that went down in each other's end, they would usually call each other and, uh, you know, be there for each other. Uh, just like when uh, Onyerika actually scored that two goals, you know, uh, Boniface obviously uh, contacted Onyerika, you know, to congratulate him. And the, like, the list goes on like that for uh, our players. Uh, but again, let me leave that update, guys, and let you know that uh, Paul Onwachu has now stated uh, that he wants to, uh, you know, remain uh, with Strasbourg so in Turkey, uh, that he and his family, you know, are feeling at home in Turkey and that uh, he's enjoying his football, he's enjoying his, his life, he's enjoying 
every bit of thing you know that's happening in Turkey and in his club Trasbon so that he's not you know keen to return back to Southampton which is his parents club of course you do know that he's actually on on loan uh, at uh, Trasbon so from Southampton but again he had a, a really uh, unstable spell at Southampton and uh, you know, when, when he left and came to Strasbourg, so he kind of found his rhythm and started, you know, uh, hitting the back of the net, uh, you know, a few times again. Uh, but then he had um, some injury issues. He's just even recently returning from injury. Uh, and uh, right now he's saying that uh, he feels uh, or that he wants, you know, the deal to be made permanent so that he will uh, stay in Strasbourg so beyond this season uh, that's you know what Onachu has now uh, said but well, moving on guys let me let you know uh, the update that concerns Samuel Chukweze and AC Milan they played their game yesterday Sunday uh, they went uh, to the home of South Salo to play a 3-3 draw but uh, I thought that game was uh, particularly uh, you know a game filled with hard luck for milan and especially for sama chukweze because he could have you know been the one that get uh, that gets the winner go for ac milan in that twitter uh game uh, but it was not meant to be because he was uh his goal was cancelled by the referee uh ruled, ruled for an offside but i mean i saw that replay to the game i don't i don't think that he was in offside position i, I think he was gg here and the defender you know because even if they are showed it it, it felt like it you know it was in the same position that they were but again uh he was so unlucky that they ruled that one for an offside uh but again uh samajuku is obviously making his statement uh after coming out coming in from the bench to uh, make an appearance for that game milan obviously showed strength even though they didn't start really strong they had to come from two goals down to uh you know play out that 3-3 three, three, uh draws chukwese obviously playing 65 minutes of the game have have had three shots and again uh you know ended up being disappointed because they didn't win that match but moving on guys let me end with a birthday shout out uh to uh, coach Finidi George, uh, of course, uh, he turns 53 years old today, and happy birthday to him. And of course, he is a legend of the game. Uh, so this is what you have mentioned uh, in this video. Uh, coach Finidi actually, uh, you know, had some really, really uh, uh, tremendous spell, uh, you know, in, in football, playing in different uh, club sides, starting from uh, home. Uh, from the home base played for clubs like uh, Calabarovas played for Iwanyamu and then I uh, played for Sharks of Fortacot and then he uh, went offshore to play for Ayas in 1993 he, he's won a lot of trophies he's won the Afcon he's won uh, you know the league titles three times uh, I think with Ayas and of course he won uh, the Super, uh, the Dutch Super Cups twice and uh, he won the Champions League, he and Kanu Wanko with Ayas. And he also won the UEFA Super Cup. He also won the International, sorry, Intercontinental Cup. So this man is a legend of the game. Happy birthday to him. And wish him, uh, you know, long life, prosperity and every good thing. That's the video, guys. Thank you for watching this one. React to any of the videos if you feel connected to. Stay tuned to the channel and have a lovely day.